second session for Battle Network because my first one was really short. But yeah, early on in my red recording, people went to bed, don't want to wake people up, don't really want people knowing what I'm doing, so just kind of being a little bit on the quiet side. So my vocal audio got kind of lost. Unfortunately, it's going to be like that for like the first six, seven, no, not the first six, seven episodes, because the first two or three are okay. But then after that, it gets kind of bad. And I recorded enough for nine, I believe. No, eight episodes. My first recording session of Red. So there's like five episodes that my audio is kind of iffy at best. Because I'm too busy. Because I'm too busy whispering like this. Hoping that nobody will hear what I'm saying. Except for you guys. But yeah, hopefully with the new mic, even if I'm whispering, that kind of stuff won't happen again. I guess we'll find out with the stuff that I just did. But, uh... I'm way too tired right now. Like, that's just really bad. But, getting some good recording done. We're gonna record, hopefully, a couple hours of this. Like, two hours. Like the two other recorded of red. Record a little bit more of red. Because I'm kind of hoping to get a PVR of some kind pretty quickly. So that I can. So I can, you know, get the console stuff and all that. So hopefully red will be the first thing that gets done. And then when red is done, I can move on to something that's going to be a recent release or something. So that's not all emulator stuff, not all old stuff that's going up on my channel. You can get to some new stuff pretty quickly. So many gym trainers. I guess they do this so that you're not under level like at all. But it also makes it really easy to be over leveled. And over level in this game is not good. Because if you go over level in this game, your Pokemon will stop listening to you. Like, Marshtown's at 17. If I were to get him to 20, I'd have to be really careful with the amount of battling I do with him. Because as soon as he went to 21, it would be like having a traded Pokemon that doesn't listen to you. No, sorry. Say what you want, I'm just going to do what I feel like doing. You don't like it? Release me. Or get another gym badge so I can actually care what you say. Of course I get paralyzed. I always get paralyzed. I think I got some paralyzed heals for the gym later, but I don't want to use any of them right now. So I'll probably end up going back and heal them again after this battle. I think I actually managed to get through two gym trainers without having to go back and heal this time. It's not bad. Of course, all the gym people here are complaining about the way Julia does stuff. There are switches for the gates, but of course, Julia turned them off because she wants people to have to get to her by blowing things up because she'll enjoy watching that on the monitors as she watches you progress through her gym. Yeah, that's Julia for you. Captain a cheering pep and everything electric types. I wonder if her team changed in the new update. I don't think it did. But yeah, it's a nice battlefield. And there's your, like, seriously, a full banner devoted to just three exclamation marks. Is that really necessary? Like, everything else has got two things, but you can put the exclamation marks there and you need three. Oh, Julia. So. Quick save, because we're coming at her, going hard in the paint, going hard in the yellow paint here. Kaboom. Oh, hi. Welcome to the super duper ultra hyper electro dazzle hyper boom time house. Cheer. Like, how do you say that all in one breath and not like suffocate? 
Just ignore all the super lame machinery stuff. I need more banners and streamers and fireworks. Wait, isn't that a safety hazard? Oh, who cares? Anyway, don't think I'll go with you because you helped us out earlier. I have pride to uphold as a gym leader and as former captain cheerleader of the Onyx Trainer School honor depends on me. Holy whole lot of yellow. It's almost as bad as outside. But alright, alright, alright. I'm wired, so let's fight. Wait. Cheerleader y stuff. And kind of creepy sprite design. No offense. So I'm trying to remember what this is. I'm trying to remember what this is. It is electric something. I know it's got a secondary type, I don't remember what it is though. Of course it would no blade to paralyze me. Of course. It must slap. To do super effective damage to a poison type. I do have paralyzed heals, right? I think I said I did. How did I miss? I only have one. No, I'm saving it. I am I am saving that paralyzed heal. Sorry, Blob, but you're uh, on your own, sort of, a little bit, as far as the para hacks go, which is starting to become annoying. There we go. See, because acid spray has the extra effect that it lowers uh, special defense, that means it does extra damage every time. So, two attacks should be no. This one will take three. Two or three. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, some booms. Should have been smarter than that. Should have switched out. But yeah, two or three uh, acid sprays should have been enough for pretty much all of our Pokemon. But now it's gone, so I'm gonna go with Ember because I don't know if it has static. Plus. Well, then acid spray it was lowered special defense, so that actually kind of worked out pretty well. He can take two sonic booms. He's got 48 health. But cannot take too many rollouts, though. Timely crit, because he probably would have survived that. And Moxie's raising that attack. I don't know if that raises special attack, so that might actually not be doing much for me. And let's. Tank a charge beam and headbutt to death. Oh, very close. Of course, she uses a potion. Don't they all? Well, they did in first gen. How many potions does she have? I forget. I think she's got three actually, so she might not be done. Yeah, she might not. Oh, no, she only had the two. Either that or she's saving the last one. Two levels? Two? Two? Yeah? Yeah? Eighteen? Eighteen! 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 Um... Let's be on the super duper uber over the top safe side with that. And... Just make this easy on us. <laughs> yeah, I am way too tired. I am just way too tired. There's still anything left in this drink? Yes, there is. I think this is her last. It's either her last or her second last. How do you miss? How do you miss? Stop missing. Just take it down. There you go. Oh, that was her last. Mm. Mm. I don't like losing. I lost. So lame. But oh, whatever. Can I go take a power nap? Huh? Oh, right. Fine. Take your 
what you might call it badge. So slap happens the thing that Jir thing makes stuff happen. And it allows you to use the um oh crap, which one was it? Uh, I need coffee. I so need coffee. Oh, I remember now. Allows you to use cut out set about. And also Pokemon up to level 25 will always obey you. Yeah, that's right. And also take this, consider it a uh, thanks for your help earlier. It doesn't go doesn't go boom, but it is a useful move. Anyways, mm, time for sleepies. Bye 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 bye. Time for sleepies. <laughs> Julia's character is kind of funny, even if she can be a little bit on the annoying side at times. And why is it still sunny sh yeah. Mur. Oh, look who it is. It's our old pal Vicky. Rich Moria. Did you just win your first badge? That's great. I was thinking about challenging you there, but I heard some awful. Apparently something weird is happening in the obsidian war the plants are coming to life and attacking people. Yeah, of course, as soon as someone like her hears something like that, she has to drop everything and go and see if she can you know, stay to talk more, but she needs to hurry. That's it. Get on your high horse. Take off. Come on, frames. Stop being so low. Hold on. How far are my uploads right now? Still got that much time left. What the heck? That is totally not cool. Still way too much time. And yes, there is still no healing music stuff. It's the fact of being on a Mac. Sorry. It is what it is. Hopefully with the night will come the rain and I'll be able to come back and get my perfect fire type. And then I'll have to speed EV train him because I don't speed e tra EV train him, he's gonna be super slow. And I need him to at least be able to outspeed some stuff. Oh look! It's a level 12 from a trainer that we could not face before because we did not have a gym badge yet. Do you know what I need? No? Well. As I continue to record, a flinch? How did that flinch? What? Flinch? You flinched. Why did you flinch? Acid spray doesn't cause flinching. Another blitzel. Another electric type. Um, you there. Guy who's about to stop listening to me. Go take it down. Um, go with a much. My shot. Slack off. Ooh, slack, 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 slacker. Maximilian needs experience. He needs to get to level 20 so he can evolve. Become my mighty Maximilian Mightyena. Bite him. Arr. Make him flinch. So he can't do anything to you. You think this stab being in a dark type movie would be able to do at least half damage to a level 12 slack off. But apparently not. And look, a level up! Yay! I can see why. Wait, what? It's only one bit. Oh. Uh, yay! He's not continuously battling me this time. Spit us some change, sir. Can I get a penny from you? Pennies don't exist anymore. Why do you want a penny? Pennies will get you nothing. Well, pennies haven't really gotten you anything for a while now, but... Come on. 
Ooh, well, that'll be a two-hit KO. And it didn't use Sing, so it's not going to be a pain in the ass. Like, every single destructive skitty out there. So destructive. Ooh, a Venipede. I would love to use a Venipede, but I don't know where to find one here. I swear, if I get to fit Jen on this channel at some point and do black 2 or white 2, I am definitely getting a Venipede to use. I want to use one so bad.